Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the, yeah. I have to replace mine. Mine, mine. Yeah. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Rowe. I'm, I'm the, a member here in Tog Hacker Space. We're a creative space where people can come together and work on their creative pursuits, their passions, their interests. And we all club together, have a nice shared facilities here on the Colmore Road, and where we have machines, tools, and also the skills and expertise where you can come along, learn something, explore your passion, and really find and follow that creative interest. So here at TOG we have a number of uh, opening events for the public to come along to. Uh, every second Monday we have electronics nights, so you can come along, learn how to do basic electronics, demystify this whole world of IoT, come learn how to take over your devices, a bit of repair, all that sort of thing. On Thursday nights we offer lock picking, so people can come along and explore these interesting contraptions and puzzles and really kind of get into it. Then we offer other classes like brewing events, we have crafting events, we have people come along on Wednesday nights for our maker night so people can learn about digital fabrication. So your laser cutting, your 3D printing, these new ways that we can learn to make uh, interesting products and really kind of customize things uh, for yourself around your house. So all these activities are free. People can come along. There's no need to be a member of our club. These are all open. Anyone can come along. They're free to so try out and see and learn about this interesting technologies. Oh yeah, but I'm not going to put it in with a viewer guy. Yeah. Even I know that. So that way we'll we'll rule out this when supplying more power to it to see that that turns on. Yeah, so this turns on and starts charging. No, no, no. So. Hi, my name's Kate. I'm volunteering here at the Repair Cafe here in Tog. As you can see here behind me, we've got some home brewing happening, um, which isn't available to sell downstairs, but um, I'm sure when it is, we'll all enjoy a couple of drinks. So I've been a member of Tog for about five years and um, I suppose my main kind of interest is working with community and really being part of events like today where we can meet people, meet locals and I suppose be involved with um, just fixing and making and engaging with the public. So today we're hosting a repair cafe and basically what it's about is people being able to come with items that they would normally throw in the bin. Um, and have them repaired by people here uh, who volunteer with TOG. So there's lots of different categories. We've got electronics, um, garden equipment, uh, you know, personal, you know, hi-fi equipment, you know, headphones, vacuum cleaners, lawnmowers, all that kind of stuff. And they've all been fixed here today. And the idea really is, uh, is really to save, you know, products from landfill so that we're helping to, I suppose, you know, um, repair and recycle rather than buy new and show people what we're doing along the way. So at TOG we have a, a very much an eclectic range of interest from photography to creative arts and standing right beside me here is a cosplay that one of our members Nathan uh, created for Dublin Comic Con. So it's called uh, a Tech Priest. It's from uh, Warhammer 40k and he really enjoys wearing it, uh, walking around the crowds of Dublin Comic Con and seeing the great interest and uh, feelings coming in from all the attendees. So here's another great uh, prop for uh, that are made by our cosplayers. So this is the type of thing, it's, it's mixed media, it has welding, it has electronics on it that light up and make the cool sound effects. It's a good example of how our members come together, share different skills around crafting electronics to make a great prop. 
Hi, I'm Louise. I've had this lamp in the shed for 35 years and I'm so delighted to get it fixed today in Tog at the Repair Cafe. I did not want to throw it out. It's from an auction years and years ago. So I'm so delighted. They've done a fabulous job. They've tested it. It's perfect. And I'm very happy. And well done, Tog and the Repair Cafe. So once a month we have our open social nights and one of the great activities is we have a pizza oven outside and then we bring out this great telescope and look up at the stars. So we're here in our electronics lab in TOG. We have plenty of equipment in case you're looking to use it. We have oscilloscopes, function generators, power supplies, soldering equipment, anything you might need to carry out a repair or build a project. Hi there, I'm uh, Sean. I'm uh, here at TOG Hackerspace uh, for our repair cafe. I'm just kind of doing front of house stuff, letting people know what, uh, what taking whatever information we need. Uh, we are currently on our 40th item today and it's not even two yet. So um, we have been getting devices from every possible source. Uh, some very simple, some very complex, but honestly I'm, I'm kind of wowed by some of the skills of some of our members. Uh, one of the best phrases I've heard about kind of repair cafes and the repair culture is that it's really the fourth oar of uh, of kind of environmental protection. So you know you hear the reduce reuse recycle, but I think it should be reduce reuse repair recycle. So some of the challenges faced by our, our organization would be security of tenure. So uh, this is now our fourth premises we've moved to over the last few years. And because Dublin keeps being redeveloped, that there's no plan or position set aside for industrial units that are still in the heart of the city centre, everything has gone to be commercial and housing units. Some of the other challenges that we also face is about uh, funding and insurance for different types of hands-on activities that really groups like ourselves struggle to do because of the insurance and the other regulation over here. Are they both the same? So beside me here is another piece of equipment we have in TOG Hackerspace. It's a laser cutter. So it's used for uh, cutting woods, plastics, fabrics, all sorts of materials. What's interesting about this particular laser cutter is it's uh, open source. So the plans are all online and a couple of our members got together and we made the machine ourselves. So it's great to keep the cost uh, nice and low and you really the opportunities for learning how these machines work about building it yourself was really invaluable. I'm Nadia. I do clothing repairs um, at a repair cafe. Um, I've been involved with a repair cafe since we started them and um, I've been helping organize them and um, basically be responsible for any clothing repairs that we have. Um, I like doing them. I got into it uh, through repairing my own stuff because I just wanted to um, I just wanted to extend the lifespan of my own clothing. So I taught myself some repair techniques and I especially like passing them on to other people. I sometimes get people asking me to teach them how to repair their own clothing, which I really appreciate because it's, it's a thing that's personally important to me. 
we're very hopeful for the future. We've had a, a fabulous 14 years in, uh, in existence and we hope for many more. Being part of the PPN is a real way for us to get to know other communities, other organizations, not just in our local area, but across Dublin city center as a whole. And it really allows us to learn and skill share with so many great other organizations.